welcome to my kitchen again. I'm Maria, and you are here to learn how to make frituras. Remember, we're making a series of different frituras. If you don't know what frituras are, that's the street food in Puerto Rico that we have it everywhere in the island. Last time, we made rellenos de papa. Today, we're gonna make bacalaitos. Now, bacalaitos are something that you find everywhere in Puerto Rico. I remember growing up, when we went to the fiestas patronales, that's the first thing you look for, the bacalaitos. In some places, believe it or not, they make them bigger than your head. They're huge, but they're so delicious, crunchy, savory, it's so good. What we use for them, we use codfish. Now we buy the frozen, I buy the frozen one, it comes in packets like this, a lot of brands sell them. You boil this and you're gonna shred it after it's cooked. We're gonna need all peppers flour and we're gonna need water, pepper, sazon, I don't put salt in it first. Now, I've seen that a lot of people make them different. Some people add sofrito to them. Some people add um, peppers and onions and different things. I learned to make them differently. So I'm gonna show you how I learned. I don't put none of that stuff on, but if you like that, you can definitely do it. That's how you can see that Puerto Rico is a small island, but depending where you're coming from, you might cook a recipe differently. So let's get started so you can learn how to make bacalaito. I'm back, the bacalao is cooked. I forgot to tell you before, it comes with a lot of salt in it, so you have to rinse it into warm water and take all that salt off the surface of it. Then you're gonna boil it in water and I shredded it. Check to see, it says no bones, but sometimes there might be one or two that escape, so check for that as well. So here I am adding the flour. I added about two cups of flour, all purpose flour. To that, you're gonna whisk it with the whisk to get rid of any lumps that you have and then you're going to add your seasoning i i have homemade sazon that i made so i add a little bit of that because i don't want a lot of color in it here i have to shake it to mix it all up so just a little bit of that mix it again with the whisk so all that is combined with the flour black pepper, no salt yet because remember the codfish is very salty and I'm also adding a little bit of the water where I cook it which has salt already. A little bit of fresh water and you mix. You don't want this to be too thick. You want it to be thinner than a pancake mix because the thinner the batter the crunchier your bacalaitos are going to be. thinner than a pancake because if it's too thick your pan your bacalaitos are not gonna be crispy they're gonna be soggy so you want it thin also I don't put salt yet remember the bacalao is salty plus I added a little bit of the water where I cooked the bacalao I usually fry a little one before so I can taste it but you can also taste it like this nope it doesn't need any salt we're ready to fry here I'm doing a tester I fry a little bit of the batter just to make sure that the salt level is okay. I did not have to add any salt to it. It was okay without it. And here I'm frying them. My pan is big enough that I can do three at a time. Just keep an eye on it so they don't burn. Once they start floating and getting brown around the edges, you're going to flip them until they're nice and crispy in both sides. Listen to the crunch. 
You hear that? That's how thin you want them because you want them to be crispy and not puffy and soggy. Now this is my daughter's favorite fritura. Every birthday when I ask her what do you want to eat, she says bacalaitos and beef soup every year. She loves this. Now, listen, listen. Mm, did you hear that? Delicioso. That was a good bite. So good. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. So you can see the difference how thin the batter is. The difference that it makes. That I started frying them and look at this. Soggy city. No bueno. I added more water and look at this. Oh my lord, delicious.